I'll be completely transparent and tell you that I feel so uncomfortable without having my lashes on. I feel like they made me look like a completely different person and I'm sure people will be like, no, that's not true. Or some people might be like, yeah, absolutely put them back on. But I've told myself that I was going to take this year to try and become more comfortable with my like natural look because that's how I met my husband. I wasn't, I didn't wear anything. I mean, I played water polo in high school and so I, this is like, it but i had my hair pulled up in a wet bun all the time trying to sprint to class and eat beforehand so i've always kind of been that way i've never been like a super girly girl and it's quite a struggle i will not lie especially having a daughter now that likes all the girly things i don't know what i'm doing and i've wanted to post one of those videos like i'll see on tiktok of the girls that are like here I am, give me your feedback, be gentle with me because I'm sensitive, but tell me what am I doing wrong? And I feel like I need to kind of just expose myself in that way and see what people say because in regards to style and makeup and hair and all of those things, like I have so many insecurities and I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to better it either because I'm also short and petite and I have no torso and there's just so many things and trying to make those changes having the desire to do that is one thing but actually implementing real change and not knowing where to start is a completely different thing and it is so incredibly challenging i've been trying to do it since i became a mom so if there's anyone out there that has recommendations and can deliver it kindly please send them my way because i don't know what the heck i'm doing and i'm so uncomfortable but I had liner on this morning and I was just like looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, this makes my eyes look so dark and I don't have lashes that are long enough that you can like see past the eyeliner and everything. It just wasn't working. So I had to take that off before I started filming because it was absolutely driving me insane. But with that said, we're back home from the farmer's market. I went to the little thrift store that they have connected to the church. That's where the farmer's market is. And then I went to fill up buttercup to get some refills on things. And now we're home. The baby's napping, the kids are playing outside, Sammy's cleaning up downstairs. And then as soon as I'm done with this, we're going to finish our grocery shopping, meal planning, all that stuff and prepping our entire Saturday reset because tomorrow we have plans and we can't do the majority of our reset then. But before we do all of that, I wanted to sit down and have a little chat about this week's part of this 2024 refresh mini series. So last week we talked more about like the personal category. This week we're talking about family. Next week is homeschooling. No, I'm sorry. Next week is organization. The following week is homeschooling. And then the fifth Monday will be about self care, kind of that like glow up piece. So my hope and intention is to actually figure out what the heck I'm doing and how to come up with solutions of everything that I just talked about and be able to kind of present some to you guys as well. So I might actually expose a lot of my insecurities and everything on TikTok and just get raw feedback from people and see what they say and then bring it to you guys. But either way, we'll have some type of self-care category at the end of this month to kind of wrap up this little series. So for today, we're talking about family. I have a few things that we have started to implement with our family unit that has been incredibly helpful. And so I wanted to share a few of those things with you guys. And I know it's the first week, and so I really wanted to take this time to implement some things and see how they work and then bring them to you guys and then kind of provide the pros and cons of what we have already kind of experienced with all these little things that we started implementing. So first things first, my girlfriend Britt started using this company Greenlight. It's an app. It's all about money handling and stuff when it comes to your kids. Now I've seen a lot of people, I feel like their, um, their app and their social media and everything's a little bit more geared towards teenagers, which is amazing. Once they get there, if we're still using it, that would be awesome. But because we have littles, it's more for us about finding an easy way to pay them that doesn't require us having to go to the bank every single week because the Dave Ramsey stuff, every dollar, all the things, the financial peace system, the baby steps, everything. And I took the, or I watched the course that they have for teaching the kids about money. And his method was that you pay your kids for their responsibilities or chores or whatever as soon as they complete them. And our issue wasn't that the kids weren't doing it or that we didn't want to pay them or anything. It was the fact that we kept forgetting to pull money. As much as I would like to say, we're just going to be on top of it. It's just one more thing added to the list of things that I already need to do. And we are also trying to minimize everything that we're doing. So we are trying to look for other alternatives that we could find. 
pros of this app and everything is that it's an app. I will give them the iPads when they have completed their morning and evening stuff, and then they can go through and check off the chores. We call them responsibilities, but in the app it's chores. And so they get to do that. They're responsible for that. They're responsible for completing their things. And then we have set it to their recommendation for allowance. We don't call it allowance. We call it commission because it's not just given to them. They have to work for it, but their commission that they receive will be $1 per year for their age. And so my oldest is seven, he'll be turning eight. So once he turns eight, it'll bump up to eight. Same thing for my daughter is five. And so they will get that, but there's also an option to where you can switch it on or off if you want, that it'll pay them a percentage of what they complete for their chores. So we have that option in as well. And then there's also another separate category for jobs. So if you wanna add on extra jobs, it'll notify them that like, hey, there's been a new job listed. So if they wanna make some extra money, then you can have the title, the description, and then how much you're going to pay them. And then you can just, as soon as they have checked that they've completed the job, you can have settings on to where the money won't get sent unless you approve it. And so we have that there. It's just an awesome system. I'll attach more. I'll put the link for, I think when I share it, you get like 30 bucks or something towards the account automatically. And so I'll share that, all the things, you can check it out. But it is really cool. The debit cards for the kids are on the way right now, so I can't actually share what they look like, but you can check out their Instagram account and check out the app. I don't think you have to really pay anything up front. You can kind of download the app and look into things before you move forward with getting debit cards for the kids and all of that stuff. That's green light. That's one of the things that we've implemented that we are super excited about. The next thing that kind of piggybacks off of this would be our schedules. So part of the responsibilities that the kids have is they have morning responsibilities and they have evening responsibilities. What I did is I have cork boards, like what we do our vision boards on, and I pinned three regular page printouts to the cork board and hung it in the hallway. And then I have our schedule and I'm gonna print out another set of the morning and evening responsibilities and put them downstairs as well. So they have it upstairs and downstairs to refer to all the time. My oldest is super neurotic, very anxious when it comes to knowing what to expect in the day. And so we have our command center that I'll talk about in a little bit downstairs that has the whole month laid out for him when it comes to like events and things that are going on as well as this daily schedule that i have in the hallway and it's kind of like an hour by hour breakdown of monday through friday because the weekends are so different that i can't really break that down for him but even monday through friday sometimes we're going to have days where we're going to have to run an errand and it's not going to fall in line with the schedule but i think having it kind of broken down so he kind of knows what to expect for the most part has really been helpful for him. He'll even come down and be like, oh, we're coming up to 11 o'clock and he'll look at it and see, we're supposed to be doing this right now. And then he'll go and get that started. So it's a lot less of mom, what are we doing? Mom, what are we doing? Mom, what's coming up? What's the plans for today? And more of him taking the initiative himself to go look at the schedule, know what to expect, know what questions he actually needs to ask and what he can do himself, especially since he's getting older. So that is our next kind of system we've put in place is just having our calendars and plans easily accessible for the big kids so they know what they're doing and what's coming and all of that help kind of guide them and let them take kind of control of what they can and instill a little bit more of that like independent spirit in them so that's two three is the command center now while i've already filled out the calendar and for personal info and reasons i'm not going to share everything on there so i'm just going to share a product kind of photo of what it looks like and then i'll include i think i have a like to know it post as well if not i'll put the links and everything either way they'll be in the description but i have this calendar as well as the weekly one that i shared last week and the big calendar and the weekly one are both downstairs in different areas. The big one is our command center. Now I had plans for there to be more to it, but I also have another kind of pegboard from Ikea that also has things on it. So our command center is kind of just our entire entryway <laughs> because the walls are shaped weird and I wasn't gonna move things around. So it is what it is, it's there. The kids, it works well for us. We'll just leave it at that. But that is our big calendar. We have our 
you know, just the basic things that we need, big events and all that stuff over there. And then we have our meal plan menu in the kitchen. And then, like I said, daily sheets and uh, evening and morning responsibilities will be on that pegboard with the daily schedule as well. So again, just kind of having those different things accessible for them as well as Sammy. I have our Google calendars sync to each other, but I don't always remember to update the one specific calendar I have for him because I also time block that I'll go into more detail next week. And so I hide all of my like time blocking stuff from him, but I have another like separate calendar. And I don't always remember to fill that stuff in because it's just for sharing with him. So when I do remember that, I update that, but it's kind of nice because then as soon as he's getting ready to leave the house, he can look at the calendar, see what's there, look ahead to see what's coming. If he has questions, I refer him to the calendar so he doesn't even have to bother. And he just knows like, hey, if I need to make sure that whatever I'm trying to plan or he's trying to plan, he'll let me know and we'll fill out the calendar together. Another thing that we're doing in regards to the calendar is also just incorporating on the calendar, not just events or classes or things that we have that are consistent, but also our meetings. So we'll have our date nights written on there. We'll have our mid month uh, kind of goal setting meeting. Like we're doing all the things and we're testing out the method of putting things on a calendar and planning them out and seeing if we actually stay consistent with it. One last thing that I really wanna dive into in regards to like the family piece of everything is our routines and rhythms. Morning routine is kind of simple. The kids wake up at their times. We have a set time that we do breakfast and then they kind of know the rhythm of what they're supposed to be doing, mainly their morning responsibilities before we dive into school or going and running the errands that we need to or a class or whatever we have going on. They know the ebbs and flows of it all. And that's a little bit more ingrained in all of us right now. It's the evening routines that are a little bit trickier. And so one of the things that we're trying to implement really falls more on Sammy and me. And that's kind of the tough part because we're both getting back into our very frequent workout routine and with that we're tired and making the adjustments and detoxing and we're about to start fasting on monday there's just a lot going on we're getting our butts kicked at this point and so we are tired not even tired we're exhausted at the end of the day but finding that momentum to just rally a little bit further to get the kids to bed and do what we need to before we crash as well it's it's quite a challenge, but I will say that when we are consistent with our evening routine and doing everything that we need to, making sure that the kids are showered, making sure their teeth are brushed, making sure that they, you know, have pajamas on, their beds are made, all of those things, it seems like a lot, but when you get into the rhythm of it and you know whose job is what, and e the jobs can even swap, but the communication, the open communication of like, hey, you got the kids, I'm gonna go heat up their stuff, I'm gonna go get this prepped, I'm gonna go fill up their waters. We don't fight our kids on getting waters in the evening or any of that stuff. We have their warmies that we heat up, we have their waters that we fill up, so there's no conflict or anything. We do a story, Sammy does prayers and affirmations, like that's the only job that's not really interchangeable. He does the prayers and affirmations almost every single evening, unless he's traveling, or if he has something crazy he has to do in the evening, the kids ask for it and he does it. Everything else is kind of like, they don't care who, you know, gets them ran through the showers and gets them dressed and helps them brush their teeth and all that stuff. So tag teaming for that, getting that done, and then being able to also have our rhythm of unwinding, doing our things, getting everything prepped for the next day. All of that stuff is kind of the big thing that we're implementing right now. Do we have it down packed? Absolutely not. Are we still working on it? Absolutely, yes. Is it going to fall through the cracks sometimes? A hundred percent. But in regards to something that we see to be incredibly important and a necessity to finish the day off strong, that's something that we're not gonna waver on. We've done it in the past when Beckham was a baby and it was only him and it made such a massive impact to his sleep, to his attitude the next day, to us, to unwinding and just being able to connect and everything. There's just so many benefits to it and we know that that's there. We wanna implement it, we're going to implement it and we're gonna fall short, but we're gonna do our best to get back up the next day and continue to try. So with all of that said, those are kind of the main things that we are implementing right now to just kind of build a stronger family unit to make sure that we're connected, to make sure that we're taking care of the kids and the needs that they have. And yeah, 
just as a whole trying to take steps to work towards the goals that we have set and one of them is really making sure that we're taking care of our family to the best of our abilities that's basically it for this week i love you guys thank you so much for checking in and being here and i'm